Mictus here, and this is my video review of the M249 Mugen Fire Chainsaw Kit. Now, this is just my experience with it. You may have another experience with it if you ever choose to buy this or if you see other people review it. But, in my opinion, it's pretty badass. Like, I mean, everyone who's played Call of Duty Ghost loved the chainsaw. And as soon as I saw it for the 249, I went out and bought it right away, but unfortunately, I do not have a pleasant experience with it. Um, although my box mag did break and was not willing to feed for me the day in which I, uh, I used this, I was still using a high cap mag, um, so I was very limited in that. Um, but other than that, uh, that has nothing to do with my the weapon. The weapon is, it makes it so much heavier, and so much more awkward to hold, um, because unlike the actual KAC chainsaw, you can attach it to the rail system anywhere you see fit, so anywhere that's comfortable for you. But with the 249, it's mounted directly to the tripod mount, uh, which makes it very awkward. Um, it's a very awkward length, and I'm kind of like stretching my arm out further than I should be, maybe because I just have short... I don't have long enough arms, but anyway, also another thing I noticed is the weight, like I said, it makes it much more heavier. Um, all the time I spent trying to make my saw as light as possible, as maneuverable as possible, yeah, that just went down the drain. It's very awkward and heavy and cumbersome to hold. Even when I had the sling around it, around my neck most of the day, I when I got home that night, my neck was killing me. Um, it's just very heavy. Um, it's mostly because of the big chunk of aluminum that, uh, holds the trigger stuff and the trigger mechanism intact. Another thing I noticed is if you're trying to peek and shoot over a hill, which you'll see in this clip, it's very hard to do. You can't really raise it much higher than your shoulder. So if you're trying to aim above a, above a hill or something, um, you're going to have trouble doing that. Because with a normal weapon, you usually shoulder it and you can lift it probably about head head level with yourself. Uh, with this, you can't really do that too well. So when you decide to pop over cover and start shooting, you basically expose yourself, and uh, that is not very good. Um, in airsoft, and probably in real scenarios, a running gun type chainsaw like this would not be useful, unless we had a smart gun kit, which would provide a tactical feed to your HUD, and then you would be able to take out targets more efficiently. If anyone has seen aliens, they would know what I mean. But, yeah, personally, in my opinion, it's not that great. Um, I, I miss my saw being light and maneuverable, so unfortunately, I'm taking this off and and going to end up returning it or selling it. Uh, I have some muzzle cam, but I'll try and include some of that in here. So, anyway, hope you enjoy. And uh, this has just been my personal review and opinion. So, would I buy this? Not really, um, unless you're a fanatic, run-and-gun type person, but me, I like to play a little bit more caref carefully and conservatively, and this was not for me. But, nonetheless, I tried it, and I will be sending it back. So, thank you for watching, if you did. Bye-bye.